Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm just a fellow who loves beer, and today I'll be drinking my 517th different beer, Lake of the Woods Brewing Company's Coney Island American Style Pale Ale. A uh, regular growler. On the cap we have uh, CI, Coney Island, written in uh, silver sharpie. So a pretty good pour there, but not too much head. Um, yep, that is uh, definitely foggy. Not just the condensation on the glass. It kicked up maybe about a half finger of head. Uh, looking at it, I'm going to call that... What color do I want to call that? Murky peachy color. I don't know. Beer! They're based in Kenora, Ontario and were established in 2013. Uh, there was no product info takeaway for this beer, only a poster you could take a photo of. So I normally drink like Budweiser. What is the same for Budweiser? Uh, nothing's really similar to Budweiser here. Which expounds, Coney Island has been a destination on Lake of the Woods for well over a hundred years. As far back as 1884, Lake of the Woods saw development of Coney Island's sandy beaches and amusement houses that today have turned into camps and cottages alike. Maybe annual music festivals, a premier boating destination, and overall landmark on Lake of the Woods. So we bring you a tribute to the island in Coney Island APA, an American-style pale ale that's clean, crisp, and craft brewed, as refreshing as the water is found lapping its shores. German pearl aroma hop blended with 100% pale malt denotes light hints of spice and mint, balanced with floral and fruit aromas. Lake of the Woods Brewing Company, Coney Island APA. This beer clocks in at 4.5% with an IBU rating of 20. Let's give it a try. And what I gathered from it, aromas of light citrus and fruit juiciness smell sweet with light hops and a beautiful light grainy uh, floral background. The mouthfeel is light with a light medium body. Again, that sweetness led malty grains and light hops. I'm getting light grass, grapefruit juice, blood orange juice, and floral notes of lesser. I can find the mint if I imagine it. On my metric system, I'll give it a zero, which is average or meh. It's okay, but just okay. Don't get me wrong though, that's just my opinion. You might try this beer and think it's the greatest thing since St. Bernardus Abbot 12. Everyone has different tastes and preferences, and that's what makes everything unique. I'm a firm believer that you should try everything yourself. I was interested to see how much of batch 140 which is a beer that they came out with 140 uh, before this one, um, to see how much would carry on. There are similarities, as could be expected, from using some of the same ingredients, but also detractors, in that one worked beautifully, and the other not as much. I'm not saying this was supposed to be Batch 140 Part 2. Uh, it is what it is. Cheers.